Hey guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about the player ratings for Bayern Munich 2, Barcelona 0. Yeah, Bayern beat Barcelona last night. Um, I'm actually recording it at 1 o'clock in the morning for you guys. So whenever this comes out, um, I'll be at work. But yeah, with that said, um, like I said, we're going to be talking about the player ratings today. What a performance. What a performance from the lads shout out to all of the lads um not yeah you know i know it did come you know uh we won but what a cost because of course lucas Hernandez seems to be out now um we've got um a pavard i don't know what's going to happen with him uh so there's injuries galore at the moment but uh we do have an international break which normally isn't a good thing but maybe it might be a good thing um coming up soon um uh, just to give those players some rest um but yeah well some of them players rest obviously some of them will go on international duties and so on but um with that said uh if you do go into another video smash the thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below thank you for the constant support welcome to some of the new subscribers uh and hopefully you enjoy your time here and uh without further ado Let's get into this bad boy. Um, so first things first, um, of course, like I said, we won 2-0. Um, Manuel Neuer for me, 8. Now, some people might be like, wow, his passing was very questionable. And I agree with you. Uh, I can't disagree with you on the, you know, that his passing was questionable because some of his passing last night uh, was questionable. But um, at the end of the day, he still made some brilliant saves. Uh, fantastic saves and um yeah man he was he got the clean sheet um to be honest with you i'm not really too sure how um you know i love mamo noia don't get it twisted um but um you know with his saves and that were well, brilliant but there was a chance where Ped with pedri he should have scored that Lewandowski should have scored yesterday but he didn't um and um, of course it's good for us it's good for the team you know the defense gets a clean sheet mamo noia gets a clean sheet uh and yeah well we smashed them two nil so there's that, but yeah, eight for him. Um, Pavard, I'd give um a five. Um, again, remember he didn't play that long. Um, and he, I thought he was having a good performance, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and that's that's coming from you know a Bayern fan. Um, talking about the first half that Barcelona dominated. You know what I mean? I'm I'm real. I'll tell you how it is. And Barcelona dominated that. So, um, yeah, I will give him a five. Um, and then. Um, the other side, Alfonso Davies, for me, uh, I'd give him an 8. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, different. Um, yeah, man, just different. Um, we were talking about it in the stream, saying that he needed to have a performance. And there we go. There's the performance. That's the performance we need. Uh, I get a high-intensity Barcelona. Don't get it twisted. Um, you know, they had a high-intensity at, at one point, and we didn't concede. So that's, I, I generally do believe that's what you know, made us go and go and go and go and go again, is the fact that they were bringing pretty much everything that they've got and they couldn't score on us. And that just built confidence with us, you know what I mean? Because we didn't, we didn't really have the possession of the ball at that point. You know, we couldn't really get it in our own half. When we had possession, we couldn't get it out of our own half. So, um, you know, we have to hit it with a long ball and then, you know, someone will make a bad pass and then they start counter attack and so on. So, um, brilliant um, from the team. But yeah, Alfonso Davies, eight. Um, and then let's talk about the two centre-backs. Lucas Hernandez, 10. Um, just different. Like, just different. I, I generally, generally, I don't care when I say this. I think he is the best centre-back in world football right now. Um, you know, there's some, there's some good ones, don't get it twisted. But I generally think Lucas Hernandez right now um, is the best centre-back in the world. Uh, I said right now, I don't mean of all time. I don't mean that he will be the best centre-back of the whole year. Uh, but right this second, I believe he is the best centre-back in the world. And I, I'll, I'll I'll go two for nil against anyone on that one, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, you know, you've got Van Dijk uh, and there's various others. But yeah, right now for me, I think Lucas Hernandez is the best centre-back in the world. Um, and he plays for... Bayern so you know you're not going to get me discredited but remember this is a farmer's league we've got to remember that um but yeah uh 10 for U Lucas Hernandez also 10 for Upperman Kano Upperman Kano was actually my man of the match um blocking everything tackling everything um just booting it when we don't like certain centre backs tried to be smart with it and pass it around now he was like yep yeah, all right we won that gone um and that's sometimes what we need to do you know um it's a bit uh, i'd give a five um i don't think it was one of his worst games um 
to be perfectly honest, he did need to score in the first um, half from one of the chances we did end up getting. Um, but he obviously got subbed off, so I can't give him anything other than a five um, because obviously he had no other minutes. Uh, his partner in crime, Joshua Kimmich, I'll give a nine. Um, just Joshua Kimmich is just Joshua Kimmich. Uh, if you're a Bayern fan or a German fan or you're just a fan of football or whatever and you watch Bayern or Germany uh, with Joshua Kimmich in it, he, he, he's just levels, man. Um there's nothing I can really, really say other than just levels. You've got to watch him to understand what I mean. Uh, you know, I can I can emphasise that he oozes with everything, passion, um, fight and all of that. But um, it's better to just watch him on the pitch. And you guys will know what I'm on about. Uh, so, yeah, I'd give him a nine. Um, Mane, for me, I'd give him a four. Um, I think I said it in the stream. I said it in the match reaction. I think that Mane started so high to the point where, oh yeah, Mane shit, Mane shit, Mane shit. He's, he's not. But because he started so high and was scoring, 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 you know, and starting off brilliantly, we put him at this such high pedestal to the point where now he's not scoring. Oh, he had a shit performance. I don't think I don't think he had uh, a crappy performance, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it was helping. Um, you know, does he have to score all the time? I wouldn't say so. Uh, and this is the thing with football. Um, you know, players go through bad form. They're human beings at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. He'll get back into it. Don't get it twisted. I have no doubt about that at all. Uh, but yeah, Mane, four. Um, Thomas Muller, I'd give an eight. Again, Thomas Muller was just Again, it's similar to Joshua Kimmich. Obviously, you have different qualities. One's the, more of a defensive player, but can attack. And obviously, Muller is more attack, attack, attack. Um, but yeah, Thomas Muller, you know, just it's his presence. Uh, his presence on the ball, um, you know, <laughs> to the point where he's tackling someone. Um, they fall on the floor. I think it was Marcus Alonso. They fall on the floor. Uh, and like he goes to rant at the, the linesman, but does it with a smile? Does that actually make any sense? I don't understand how you can rant someone with a smile, but Thomas Muller doesn't. Um, so yeah, eight for him. Muziala, I'd give a seven. Um, I thought Muziala was brilliant. I know a lot of people are, are ranting and raving because obviously Pedri and Gavi were on the pitch also. Um, I don't think we should go too too hard on them. They Those two players did run that midfield in the first uh, first half. And to be honest, with, with a better with a better team uh, than Barcelona, if they if they were in, um, they would have done brilliant. You know what I mean? Could you imagine having Pedri and Gavi in our team? You know what I mean? They're brilliant. They are brilliant. Let's not get it twisted. Um, should they have started both of them? That's questionable. But at the end of the day, I'm not bothered about that. I'm not. I'm not a Barcelona fan. I'm a Bayern fan. So, um, yeah, Muziala seven, brilliant from him. Obviously got um got the I want to say didn't he? He got the assist, right? Am I right by saying he got an assist? Um, so yeah, um, yeah, brilliant from him. Uh, and then Serge Na, uh, Serge Nabry, What am I on about? It's because he's on the right hand side. Um, Leroy Sane, uh, nine. Uh, again, you know. The goal, the goal was very reminiscent of the um, Iron Robin goal versus Dortmund at Wembley, Champions League final, kind of. Um, but either way, just brilliant, brilliant finish. Um, to have the balls to do that, you know what I mean, against De Stegen. And people might hate De Stegen. I think he's a good goalkeeper. Good goalkeeper. Like, uh, let's not go, let's not go too funny where we're calling him like the best goalkeeper of all time or anything. But he's a good goalkeeper. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and then the substitutions: uh, Matthias Tau a five, Nabry and Gravenberch also a five. Leon Goretzka when he come on, he was just bullying their players. Um, and I think that's the reason he come on just to show that strength uh, and push. You know what I mean? Um, was a kind of annoying me at, at times um, with a shooting uh, and he didn't make the pass like that. I don't know if he's been told to do that or whatever, but uh, I'd give him a seven. Uh, and then um, the last substitution, um, Mazzari, 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 however you say his name. Uh, I'm sorry, I butchered that. Um, nine. Short, you know. I would say that, you know, other than um, the two centre-backs, he was probably one of the best players on the pitch. It's just... I'm, fortunate the way that he gets his mark does that make any sense like if he was just starting and then put in a master class performance it'd be like yes but you know we he only come on because of power but when he did come on he had a shift to do he had to you know help the team and he did 100 percent. he was brilliant the block the block on that one of the Lewandowski chances uh, i think levy buries that otherwise so you know brilliant absolutely fantastic nine for him um i wasn't a massive fan of the team i thought upper mancano was very risky but that did turn out well maybe he knows more than me <laughs> um and um yeah i don't like that we keep going with a, with a solo uh four three two one but um yeah Nagusman, i give him an eight 
it worked out um you know we 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 held on um for 45 minutes and then the other 45 minutes we just blew them away so i can't go against them there so yeah that's going to be my ratings for the um bayern munich versus barcelona game finishing 2-0 to bayern munich uh, and puts us top of the champions league table group stages so yeah man we're we're, we're going again i believe is it like 30 games unbeaten in the group stages or something craziness um you know stats are there and that's a fact you know what i mean and i know my team you know you guys do also uh, we know our team and um yeah man absolutely brilliant brilliant performance either way though thank you so much for watching hope you guys are all doing well if you have enjoyed smash the thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below uh when i get home from work uh i will um, make sure to um do the um julian argsman match reaction and then we'll go from there but yeah that, this will come out when I'm at work. But yeah, thank you for watching. And until then, Mia Samia, peace out.